Hey guys, it's Pure No Ice Cream Bar. So it's been a minute since I've done a character video, so I'm coming back to Moon Out here. Like I said in his intro video, there's not a ton of crazy, like, supernatural stuff that I have to go over, so this might be like the only one! I don't know, we'll see. So I guess we'll start with his backstory. Uh, Muno is from a town called Redline, and if you've watched the uh, Lath character videos, then you know that there is a very old train station in Lath. It was originally supposed to be in the town Redline, however, in kind of the last minute, it was moved to the city of Lath. So that's where Muno was born, grew up, went to school, affectionately called Redline Rejects, sometimes by people from Lath. So Muno had a pretty normal childhood. It was obvious from a young age that he was going to be more into the boyos than the, the girl girlos. Girlos. Sounds like a terrifying cereal, maybe? Girlos. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of SpaghettiOs. Where's my brain going right now? On an adventure. And because of that, people kind of treated him a certain way, especially when he gets to more like middle school, high school. He starts to want to fit into this very stereotypical box because that is what he thinks is going to make him friends with all of the, the popular kids. Yay! And that actually works for him and he becomes like sassy gay best friend. And that is who he embraces that he is. He kind of, um, loses some of his older friends. As a kid, he was very interested in art, and he kind of, he continues to do that, like, in private, but it's not part of his public persona anymore. Later in his high school career, his grandfather becomes very ill, terminally ill. Not that he and his grandfather had the closest relationship in the world, but his parents become very stressed and very sad. It becomes a very frustrating thing for him. He starts to realize that he is not quite a kid anymore and that he is not just there to be taken care of. Sometimes he needs to help take care of his own parents in this whole big transition thing that we're gonna come back to in a minute. During that time, he feels like he can't talk to his his popular kid friends because they've only ever seen him in one way and he's afraid that they're not gonna understand his emotional turmoil this this stressful thing because you know when they hang out they're trying to do the oh look at us we're quasi adults high school parties ha 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 I had one beer and now I think I'm drunk he believes that they're not gonna understand them and that is not is that's like judgment on Muno's own part so maybe they weren't a great friend to him but he wasn't exactly being a great friend to them either. He's like, well, you're too stupid to understand my deep emotional trauma. Okay, Muno. That's kind of your own thing. One of his oldest friends is a girl who used to live next door to him, and they reconnect and they talk, you know, at length about his family situation. And through their, you know, reforming of that bond, he starts to realize that he actually has feelings for her, which is very confusing, and they have a very good, lasting friendship, so he talks to her about it. Personally, I think that she just didn't have those feelings, but okay. She's kind of like, you know what, let's not do anything about that, because you're going through a real stressful thing, and like, you need to respect that, and when that whole family situation calms down, then maybe you can revisit some of these feelings you're having. And of course, by the time this situation calms down, they're both off at separate colleges and they stay in contact, but yeah, that's that's basically Muna's high school career. And this character is only, I think, 21, so not really much has gone on in his life since then. He goes to college for illustration, for fine art. His goal is to create a wonderful, amazing, classic, celebrated graphic novel that is his his dream. Overall, like personality-wise, Muno is he he tries to be a good person. He's a pretty decent, average person. That's kind of how I would describe him, not to be mean, but very average, very you know, kind of coasting in in C range, grade-wise. Definitely more invested in doing work when he actually appreciates the work or is interested in the work rather than it's something that he just has to do. He can be definitely a judgmental person. He's a very confused person. He's figuring out who he is and it makes him feel better to like give out advice even when it's unsolicited and be kind of judgy toward other people because that makes him feel like, you know what? 
these people at least think that I understand what's going on in my life, even though I know I really don't. So that's kind of Muno in a, in a nutshell, which is what this hand gesture is too. Nutshell! Is that sweat? Is that sweat? Am I sweating that much? I am gross. I guess I'm just gonna wrap up this video by saying Muno was a character that definitely for me represents this kind of period of, of transition that I still find it really difficult to describe. This period of like a coming of age, but not like puberty coming of age, like actually becoming an adult person, having to take care of yourself and having to be there for your family members and going from this place where you were taken care of to a person who is now expected to take care of other people. And at the same time, you have to start figuring out, you know, my, my life is not this box that I fit into or that people wanted me to put into in high school. I'm not just a nerd or an artist, whatever it was that, that you fit into, all of a sudden you're like, but I'm more stuff than that. And now I have to figure out what is important to me, what kind of relationships do I want to have with other people, what, what do you want to do with your life? Because it's not all ahead of you anymore. You're not just like, oh, well, I know what I'm doing. School. Now you got to figure it out. For real. And so that transition, it was difficult for me to kind of put into words like that. So I used Muno's kind of transition from, you know, teenager -y behavior to young adult behavior, but also his transition from believing for most of his life and having other people tell him most of his life that he was in this box of like, you are a gay male. And then now he realizes as he's growing older and actually, you know, going through puberty, like actually having that kind of sexual awakening of two worst words in combination. Sexual awakening. <laughs> Humans are gross. Okay. And realizing that he's actually not that one thing, but a whole nother thing, and it opens up a whole, a whole world for him. So I use that kind of like transition of his sexuality to describe, or to, or to represent that transition that was really difficult for me to talk about from like young person to young adult person. Obviously still struggling with how to vocalize that and Muno's story was kind of a more concrete thing that was easier to put words to than the other stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Muno. I always think it's fun to listen to how people have like formed their characters. So I hope it was interesting and I will talk to all of you soon. <laughs> Bye.